Hi, I'm Darren from Classic, and I'm going to show you now how to hook up the MIDI and power on your CMK3 keyboards. Okay, first thing you're going to do is connect the power. And you're going to look for the, the five adapter plug that came in your kit. And you're going to look for the end with the, with the female end and plug your adapter end into that. Then what you're going to do is uh, plug them into the power on the keyboards. And you're going to start at the one that is closest to the uh, where you plug the adapter into it. Start at the bottom and work your way up so that you can let the last one or two, depending on how many uh, keyboards you have, just hang. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is start with the top keyboard. You're going to go from the MIDI out of the top keyboard to the MIDI in of the keyboard below it. And it really doesn't matter how many keyboards you have, this is the pattern you're going to do for all of them. You're going to go start with the top, go from the MIDI out of the top keyboard, the upper keyboard, to the MIDI in of the lower keyboard. And we're going to do that all the way down. Okay, now you have a decision to make. You need to decide whether you want to use the built-in USB interface in the keyboard or you want to use uh, one that's uh, a separate MIDI interface that you're going to co connect with uh, using a MIDI cable. All right. Now this tutorial assumes that you're going to want to use the built-in USB MIDI interface that's in the keyboards. Um, if you have a stack of keyboards that already has a all pistons, it's much easier for you not to use CMK config and to use the piston programming tutorial uh, that just uses key presses and, uh, and piston presses to do that. Um, and if you're going to do that, then all you need to do is plug the USB into the lowest manual, like so, and then you're ready to go. So if you're going to use the built-in USB interface, you need to start with the top keyboard because the signal flow has to come from the computer to the top keyboard, down, 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 out from the lowest keyboard, back into the computer, and uh, so it creates a loop. So you want to start with the top keyboard. So once you've plugged the USB into the top manual, you need to create the final feedback loop from the lowest manual and that's by plugging the a cable from the lowest manual MIDI out to the top manual MIDI in. So once you've done that you can load up CMK config and the loop will be there so that the uh, software can recognize and program the keyboards. Now once you've programmed the keyboards, you need to first of all remove the MIDI loop from the top keyboard, the MIDI in on the top keyboard that went from the MIDI out of the lowest keyboard. You need to remove that. Then you need to take the USB from the top manual and put it into the bottom manual and you'll be in run mode and you can load up Hopwork and do the auto detect uh, sequence. And make sure that you've gone to general settings. And make sure that you've gone to general settings, MIDI ports, and selected CMK keyboards or classic CMK, depending on whether you're using Mac or PC, as the uh, console MIDI in and have that ticked off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to hook the keyboard stack into the computer using an external MIDI interface, not the USB, uh, built-in USB interface in the keyboards. 
We're going to use the black cable to uh, represent the cable that's going to the computer and we're going to use the white cable as the cable that's going from your computer to the keyboards. And so the, the black cable you're going to want to plug into the lowest keyboard because it's going to be going to the MIDI out of the lowest keyboard to the MIDI in of your interface. And the white cable, which is the, the cable that's coming from the computer, you're going to want to plug that into the MIDI in of the top keyboard. Okay, so once that's all plugged in and powered up, you can go to CMK Config, select your MIDI interface in the, uh, in the MIDI I.O. and uh, you're, you have a full loop that you can uh, now program your keyboards. Okay, now that you've configured your keyboards using CMK Config, you want to take the cable that is plugged into the MIDI in of your top keyboard and make sure that that is plugged into a pedal board or uh, some other MIDI device uh, and not into the MIDI out of your interface because that will cause a MIDI loop and that will cause Hopwork to send up all sorts of uh, error messages for you. Other than that, you're ready to go. You can now plug it into uh, Hopwork and uh, fire that up and uh, go to organ settings. Okay, other than that, you're ready to go. You can now fire up Hopwork, go to uh, general settings, MIDI ports, select your MIDI interface and uh, in the console MIDI in and um, start uh, using auto detect to uh, detect your keyboards in Hopwork and you should be off and running.